Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I draw some of the gems and some of the hair from Wonder Woman. Um, and you can see on here I set up the whole layers for the red gem. I start adding the dark layer and darker layer. And I've noticed with, with the gem, when I looked at some pictures of Wonder Woman, especially in the cartoons, it's definitely that gem on her headband. But it's not on on the actual vid, like the movie of Wonder Woman. It's not on her headband. It's just like there's no gem at all. So, you know, Wonder Woman is not always consistent with everything. Like she doesn't look the same across everything. Like maybe in the cartoon, like she has like the, the same red star on the headband and always has black hair but you know I tried to at least have that star on the on the headband but like with the hair I didn't I'm still struggling a bit with the hair I'm trying my best with the hair but uh, I thought okay I, I, I really like Gal Gadot's uh, hair color so I decided to implement that with her hair instead so now I'm still drawing the gems and added a bit of shine to it. With the hair, I decided, okay, I'm going to use Gal Gadot's hair as a reference. And I'm not going to use the black hair color that's from the original cartoon. So I know that might upset a lot of people. Why is Gal Gadot, why are you using Gal Gadot? Why are you not using the original character? I think I might have tried it with another um, fan art with Wonder Woman where I tried to use the black hair and it just didn't work out. So I thought, okay, let me just try and use like a brighter palette, a brighter brown. So I know it's like brownish color. So I'm trying to do like, instead of using like, like a jade black, like a black that's so black that it's blue in a way. I don't know, it's confusing, I know. So black that it's blue. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let me just try and make like a darker brown color palette for the hair. So it's super dark. So I decided, okay, let me try that. So the base color is still the bright uh, brown and that's the color that will come out of the shading so if there's parts of the hair that I haven't shaded completely that brown will almost shine through that's the base color that I thought so now with this you can see I tried to color the eye uh, eyebrows and there with the hair that I'm doing right now I'm trying to add the texture of the hair so I'm trying to figure out the direction of the of the hair so you can see there's a lot of people that are one of the some of the youtubers i've watched they recommend that you try and shade and you draw in the direction of your lines so you try and make your lines um, or your shading make it follow the lines so if it goes in a certain shape make it go in that sh certain shape banana shape make it go in a banana shape just make it curve Make it just because I think that's something that's in nature, probably where everything just they it goes in in a pattern. So you stick with the pattern. Go go with the pattern. Try and um, it has to go with the flow. And that's I think the more you go with the flow, the more natural it is with the way that you draw. So now I'm adding more lines in that and. Uh, yeah, I think that with Wonder Woman, you know, I'm, I really like Wonder Woman and everything, but I might not know everything about her. There's, there's some people that might be more obsessed with Wonder Woman than I am. And I'm sorry if there are some inaccuracies that I make with how she looks in the drawing. I try my best. It's just the way that I think how Wonder Woman looks. I try my best to see what I can do with Wonder Woman, how she looks, and just draw my own fan art rendition of Wonder Woman. You know, I'm trying my best and I'm still quite new with this whole digital painting thing. Some other reasons why I might be worried about 
Wonder Woman fans knocking on my door, arresting me for not for not being hardcore enough. You know, it's just it's some things I might have uh, said in my other Wonder Woman videos, like the greatest Wonder Woman video. You can check that in the link if you want, and you can go check that out. With that video, I, I go on about uh, other female superheroes, and I think my opinions aren't based on, I have to be honest, some of them are not based on facts, some of them are just based on my opinion. And it's not something that I mentioned in that video, which I should have, maybe like at the beginning of the video, tell people, oh, well, this, all of the stuff that I'm saying in this video is based on opinion and that. And so the one thing that I mentioned was that, uh, I said Catwoman and Elektra, like I was referring to the movies and with Catwoman, I was showing Haley Berry's Catwoman and I didn't really do my research properly on that. I didn't know that that there was a, a Catwoman after that. Well, my friend, one of my friends told me like when they heard that response that I made like about Catwoman and, and Elektra, he, he got a bit got a bit tilted. He was like, mm, uh, I'm, I'm just going to let this slide because because you know, we're, we're cool. But no, <laughs> I feel bad. I'm like, okay, so what I'm saying is just based on what I know. So now, you know, with, with this Catwoman, I thought Hayley Berry was the latest Catwoman in terms of movies. So some of, like, there's a lot of opinions with Wonder Woman where it's mostly based on, on movies. Like, I might have watched Wonder Woman in Justice League when I was younger, you know, when I was watching TV as, as a kid. And, and uh, I haven't really watched Justice League in such a long time. The last cartoon, DC cartoon that... Well, the last cartoon that I remember watching, DC related, is, is the Batman series, the Batman cartoon series. I love that, that uh, Batwing and, and, and all those um, Batman movies, I mean the, the series for that, Oof. wow, okay, now the video is done already, my word, so yeah, uh, maybe we could talk about this later. <laughs>